Hello, I'm Cody Whipple with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. Today, we're joined by a very special guest, Mark Saucer. Mark is the Stream Habitat Section Chief for the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. In this video, he's going to introduce you to the planning process that's involved before you can implement a project such as the one we're on today in Cambria County. Thank you, Cody. I'm Mark Saucer with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, and I'm here to explain stream habitat improvement, and we'll go through all the aspects about planning your project. Most likely for us, it comes to the landowners that will call us up or their local conservation district to get us involved in their stream bank erosion issues. When we come out on site to meet that landowner with the conservation district, we first assess all the limiting factors that go on on their property. It might also, it might be stream bank erosion, but amongst other limiting factors as far as what habitats need it to have that nice, clean, healthy aquatic resource and to get the most fish in that stream for our angling public. So as we're planning, we're looking at multiple aspects. How do we fix the stream bank erosion? We have several devices that are targeted for stream bank erosion issues. We have also have structures that target what's going to put in the best habitat to create some riffles, we create some runs, and also pull habitat for those fish. When, we, when we're outside on site, we do a hand drawing. Uh, when, we take, when we do the hand drawing, we go back into the office. We do a computerized design CAD drawing. I got an example of here to show you. So here is our hand drawing that got turned into a computerized CAD design. design. You can see some of these different types of structures I was talking about. There's log frame cross veins to create pools, single log veins to prevent stream bank erosion and also cause some riffles and runs. We have some log frame stone deflectors. Again, we're going to protect the stream bank, but also we're utilizing the best way to put habitat into the stream. When we come up with a design like this, we also have to talk about the funding. What's, what's going to be used or utilized to pay for these types of projects? Um, a lot of those cases, we have uh, state DEP growing greener funds will pay for it, as well as the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission has some voluntary habitat conservation permits, as well as some wild trout enhancement uh, permits. And these are voluntary. These are, are the angling public or anybody else that, that purchased a license, they could purchase these voluntary permits as well. And then we use that money to do more of these habitat projects in those streams. Once we have the funding in place, we work with our project partners, which could be the Conservation District, DEP, Local Trout Unlimited, the landowner themselves. We apply for the permits, we get the permits, and we're ready to do a habitat construction project. We then reach out to get the logs, stone. We have a local contractor in place that we've got to put these structures in, place the logs, place the stone, grade stream banks, we have volunteer groups that also plant riparian buffers for these types of projects. And to wrap it all up, we, we come back and uh, we, we assess how these projects are gonna turn out uh, 